Hey there, so this is the uh, rudder lift that I'm working on. Basically, works as this uh, little sled slides up and down on uh, runners here, and uh, having it pressed against the, this other uh, runner here. Um, it's held in place by these little brackets over, over the end that are, are uh, uh, held in place with these screws, so I can press it down, get a nice kind of uh, moderate pressure on it, tighten those up. There's another piece in here which pre uh, is used to press it back. Again, adjusted by these screws and another one over here. So those do a good job of letting it move uh, up and down uh, on the, the frame without having it uh, jiggle around. Uh, that part is working pretty well. Um, obviously the uh, router goes in, uh, the cam will tighten this up and uh, that seems to be locking it in place pretty well. Um, and then I have this uh, threaded rod uh, business which will move it up and down. Uh, I built in some flexibility here to allow for uh, some movement that I, I was expecting as the you know as this flexes and perhaps you know, a little bit of misalignment in here. But what I'm finding is that as I'm uh, Starting this up and making go, it, it will. Uh, this part actually twists, and that gives me a, a little, a little bit of slop and motion. Yeah, you can even just see as I'm moving it up and down with my fingers, it's not held rigidly in place. So while that won't be bad, too bad if I put a uh, uh, a knob on the back to tighten this down physically. I would like to get it to the point where I can just um, dial this into place and then actually get to using the router. So I need to work on the, uh, the, the slop from the twist in this. And there's also a little bit of extra flex I'm getting uh, on this part here with respect to uh, the carriage. But uh, anyway, seems to be coming along.